I should stress at this point that it's important not to be too optimistic about how many good reads you're going to find. Always bear in mind the story of the clarinetist who went to visit the reed factory in France and asked to see the factory worker who put the one good reed in every box of ten. Most professionals find they get one or two good reads from a box. You may get a few more that you can use for rehearsing and practice, particularly if you follow the following steps to alter your reads. If the reed's too thin, i.e. it plays far too easily and makes a rather thin sound, what you need to do is first of all try flattening it against a hard substance. If that doesn't help, you've no alternative other than to cut something off the tip of the reed. You need a reed cutter like this. Place the reed in the cutter with only a little tiny bit of the tip showing. You really need to cut off just a very little at a time and then try it on your clarinet. There's nothing worse than cutting off too much and realising you've made the reed too hard. If, however, the reed is too hard, it's difficult to blow and makes a fuzzy sound, then you need to take some material off the reed. Now you can do this with sandpaper or with a knife. I like to use Dutch Rush, which you can buy in boxes from a woodwind shop. It's just a natural rough grass. You dip it in water and scrape a little off each of the wings at the top of the reed. Remember to do the same number of strokes on each side and only take a little off at first. Try the reed, then take a little more. You may need to take a tiny bit from the tip, that will increase the brightness of the reed. And if it's still very stubborn and far too hard, you'll need to take some off lower down. I've marked a black line here to show where the heart of the reed is. You don't need to take material from there, it's really from the wings. That's the area that does the beating against the mouthpiece. One other thing you can do if the reed seems a bit inconsistent is to try balancing it. By that I mean putting the reed so that one of the wings is part way across the mouthpiece. Blow on that and see how it feels. Then change the position so that the other wing is part way across the mouthpiece. Try playing on that. If the left wing seems softer, then you need to take some material away from the right wing of the reed and vice versa. In this way you can balance the reed so that it plays more evenly.